Hello everyone and welcome to the second Space Engineers Alpha tutorial for advanced building. In case you did not see our basic tutorial, please visit this link and watch it first. The rotating parts are not connected to the space station. The rotation effect is achieved by simple rotation of independent large shaped objects. We would like to say that we are amazed by all the great designs you keep posting on the internet. It's really great to see all the ideas and creativity. Space Engineers allows us to experiment with physics and all types of constructions. Let's start with learning how to build an object that will rotate the way you want. For your toolbar, select an armor block, a reactor, a gyroscope, interior light and a cockpit. Click New Large Ship, build four slopes. To make things easier, make the object as symmetrical as possible. Connect them in order to form a square. Each block has its weight and has a huge impact on how the whole object will rotate. Add two reactors. Build two gyroscopes. Remember that cockpit is really light, so we can place it anywhere we need. Build a cockpit on top of the square. Now enter the cockpit. Roll left by pressing Q and turn off reactors by pressing Y. Leave the cockpit to see if everything is working fine. The object is rotating in its center. Add few gyroscopes to see what happens if the construction becomes unbalanced. As you can see, the center of rotation changed. To make more complex shapes, we need to go into details. Let's try to change the position of the cockpit on our object. A cockpit is the most important block, since it defines the way your object will move. As you can see, the rotation axis has changed. The rule to follow is that the direction of the cockpit defines axis for rolling. Until now, we kept the object in rotation only by turning off the reactors. But let's say that we want to add lights. Place lights. Enter the cockpit. Roll the platform and turn off reactors by hitting Y. Press K to enter terminal. Terminal lists all blocks connected to the object. Turn off the gyroscope to prevent the object from stopping. Click Y to activate the reactors again and leave the cockpit. Now the whole object rotates with lights on. Imagine doing this with gravity generators. Now how about creating a rotating platform as part of our space station? Add armor blocks into the center of square to form a slope. Build an additional square shape in a distance of one block from the center slope. Paint all cubes with red between the center slope and inner square. The reason for painting is to identify the blocks that will be removed. What we are going to do now cannot be reversed in alpha version of this game. So I recommend to save your progress. Remove all red blocks. The grid was broken into a pair of grids. Enter the cockpit and rotate the platform. As you can see, the square platform rotates around the aesthetic object. The reason why we started with one grid that was broken in a pair of two is accuracy. Add few blocks to the rotating square to see what happens. By using this procedure, it is possible to create some interesting interior and exterior sites. Please keep in mind that this can be achieved only with large ship and small ship objects. Also, save your world into different saves before you remove blocks and break grids. 
it can save you a lot of time from repairing and rebuilding. When you load the map, the rotating objects won't be moving. You will have to put them into rotation again. This is caused by the system of saving and is something we are going to solve in future. For now, this type of rotating objects works best for space stations, not for moving crafts. The same procedure can be used for creating some interesting small ships. Let's create part of the chain. We are starting with one small ship object again. Build armor construction first. Paint with red color the blocks that will be removed. If you would like to have lights at the end of the chain, add reactors as well, otherwise lights won't work after we break the grid. Turn on the light through terminal and cockpit. Save the game. Remove all the red cubes. Now we have a small ship with moving parts. New fast building feature was implemented into the game. Press Ctrl, Shift and left mouse button to add large areas of armor. The small number in the middle of screen informs you about number of cubes you are about to build. It also works for simple rows as well. This was the last part of the advanced building tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please keep posting all the great constructions and designs. It's a great inspiration for other players and the developer team as well.